Hello, my name is Junaid Taskran, and today I'll be talking about how Zebra Technologies is helping uh, retailers increase their store operation efficiency. Uh, so as we all know, retailers today are facing different problems, different operational problems. One of the biggest is dealing with out of stock in, in sh on shelves. Um, so the industry average is about 8% out of stock. What, uh, what that means is about one in 12 customers every day, every single day, encounter out of stock conditions while they're shopping, which obviously uh, decreases customer satisfaction. Another important problem is how to uh, increase uh, in-store picking efficiency for Bolpis operations, how to make it faster with lesser errors, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so in Zebra, what we have done is after extensive study of these uh, pain points, we have grouped them into three categories that we call retail pillars, uh, which are listed over here. Optimizing inventory, of course, is a, is a big item. Uh, next is building a smarter operation, how to make store operations more efficient. And last but absolutely not the least is, how do we elevate the customer experience? How do we have happier customers? So today, I'll be showing you three different use cases that will touch on all these three pillars um, as, as we go along. So over here, what we have is we have a mock store with grocery and electronics items set up. And uh, basically the use cases that we're gonna show today, uh, it's, uh, it, it will be three different solutions working together uh, to increase the uh, store operational efficiency. So for, first we have electronic shelf labels from Display Data, a Zebra partner. Uh, the, sh the shelf labels are obviously, they make it very easy to uh, update information. Uh, you can do dynamic uh, pricing and other use cases. But not only that, as we're going to show, it, it's a powerful tool to manage customer satisfaction for out of stock items and other, uh, other status on the shelves. Uh, so that's one important component. The other important component is a, a computer vision and AI system uh, from Vispera. So you see the camera over here. The purpose of the camera is looking into the shelves. It captures images which are, uh, which are then processed uh, in real time to get the shelf status, various shelf status items. For example, auto stock, but there are other uh, shelf status items that we're, gonna, uh, that we're gonna see in our demo. For example, planogram non-compliance items. Uh, so that, that's the second uh, important uh, component. The third important component is the Reflexes task management system. So basically what that is, it's a task management system that detects all the store tasks, uh, either created manually or automatically, as we're going to see in a second, and it sends it to uh, associate handhelds, which I'm holding one here. So this is a Zebra handheld running the Reflexes app. Um, and basically what it shows, it shows different tasks associated to me based on a variety of criteria, could be location, could be my experience, so on and so forth. And you can see some of those tasks over here. Uh, and each task has a uh, importance associated with it, low, medium, so on and so forth. So you can, you can see it over here. And uh, what I'll, I'll be doing is then I'll, I'll select tasks and I'll, um, I'll um, execute on them in the store. So Reflexes, uh, is, is a, um, uh, you know, uh, has been doing this for 15 years. Uh, it has been acquired by Zebra in, the, in, in about like a year or so uh, ago. Uh, so it's now part of the Zebra ecosystem. So the first use case I'm gonna show you today is how to uh, increase the efficiency of in-store picking operations for op uh, use cases like Bopes. So. As we mentioned here, this is the Reflexes task manager that you're seeing on the right that I have running on the handheld here. So I'll, I'll play the part of the associate today. So looking at my tasks, I see that I have an incoming Bopis order that I have to pick. So I go into that order over here and I see that I have to pick a, a Barilla elbow pasta from, from, the, from the shelf. So I go over here now, one problem in, in store picking is, uh, obviously, the, the, they're under high time pressure. So for products that look very close together uh, for, for different items, uh, errors happen. For example, as you can see, the, these three 
barilla pastas look very similar, so I should be picking this one. But uh, if I'm in a hurry, I can I can pick that one too. So how to how to solve this? If I'm and then there may be even more products that looks close uh, similar to each other. So what I can do is I can if I'm a picker, I can quickly hit the flash LED button, and what that does it flashes the LED of the electronic shelf label for the item that I need to pick. So for example, in this case, it's indicating that I have to pick this item, which I do. So I pick my ball piece item, put it on my uh, shopping cart, and I mark this task as complete. So this is one case where you can have your uh, pickers pick, uh, uh, pick more accurate items uh, without errors. So as you can see, I, I picked that item, what happened is I, I, I picked the last item, so that created an out-of-stock uh, condition, so the, which sort of segues into the next use case. How do we deal with out-of-stock conditions? So what's happening is uh, we're going we're to, nor normally this is automatic. The, the camera will take images every five or 10 minutes. But in this par particular demo case, we're going to trigger it uh, manually. So if we trigger a new category measurement, as you can see, what, that's hap what that does is it captures an image from the camera, processes it in real time, and looks at the uh, shelf status. So if you bring that up, uh, the shelf status up here, uh, it, 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 it detects an out of stock condition for the item that I just picked. So what that happens is the system has detected out of stock condition. Uh, it changes, as you can see, it changed the electronic shelf label content for that item. For example, if I'm a customer, I come over here, I'm not, I, I don't see the item, I'm frustrated, but at least I can say, I can see some information that's helpful to me. For example, you can find this online, some uh, coupons, or it's gonna be replenished in five minutes, or it's available at some other part of the store. So as you can see, that, that happens automatically. Now, the other thing that also happened is it creates a replenishment task in the Reflexes task management. So let's have a look at that task. So as you can see, it says new notifications. Let's have a look. So it created a replenishment task, as you can see, for the out of stock item. So I go in there. It says go ahead and replenish that. So similar to the previous use case, I can go ahead and flash my LED, which I won't do because we covered that use case. So what I do is I come back and I replenish the item on the shelf and I go ahead and mark that complete. So in a, in a few seconds, you're gonna actually see the electronic shelf label go back to normal. So because the system then detects that, oh, okay, shelf status is back to normal. So the shelf label also go back to the normal content. It's happening right now, okay, it happened. Okay, and the last use case I'm gonna show you today is uh, how the system can pick up planogram non-compliant items and automatically create tasks uh, to correct that. So over here, we have these two items, these two headphones over here that are actually in wrong places. So this, this item should be here and vice versa. So this is a this is common mistake that generally happens in stores for items that look very similar as they're quickly putting it on the shelves these mistakes happen. Um, so as you can see over here in the Reflexes task management system, as a store associate, it's, it's created this, the system has detected this non-compliant item uh, using the camera, the Vispera system has detected it, and now it automatically created a task for me to correct that non-compliant item. So let's see over here, it says misplaced item aisle one mod two, so which is referring to that, let me see that item, that task. So it says switch items listed below, which are these items. So as an associate, I come over here, I switch them, and I then can mark the task as complete. Thank you.